So, hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 91 and in this video we continue with our project tile. So, I duplicated my static mesh, I assigned it and this is the blueprint which we created last time. Important in this blueprint was this. Um, this is just the static mesh and the color and this one is important the projectile movement because in the projectile movement you have many settings and some are very important for example initial speed max speed but also gravity actually gravity and you can see if you set this to one for example it will go downward so it will use a force on it and if you set it to zero it will go straight forward uh, but let's keep it right now on one so let's continue what we need is now we have created this projectile now we want to test it but this one what the first person character here does is a little bit more at once what i mean with that is when you go to your first person character you can see they are calling here a dispatcher and then the dispatcher is calling here a function uh um, this better function and then they're just spawning and there is a much easier way to test for our case but perhaps in the next video i will go through this code what the first person character does so that we understand also the first person character but in this video we create something like a turret in a very very simple way and let's get started so first of all what i'm going to do is to test this created uh, project earlier i say okay I need something that spawns this projectile and uh, the best way there are a million ways to do it but the easiest way is definitely just to create a blueprint spawner so I right click here I'm here in blueprints and then I go here to the blueprint class then I go to actor because actor means all time spawning or placing in the world so I call this bp underscore spawn uh, projectile all right spawn projectile i double click it i open it up and now this uh, spawn projectile we compile and save so that all is fine we put nothing in it actually we just code so that we can place it in the world there is nothing visible but it will spawn something so what i'm going to do is now i delayed all here only event begin play that's okay and we use just the node spawn actor from class this is a standard node it's all time used it's very easy to use and we have here set up in class what we want spawn in my case my bp projectile which i created but i called it my projectile because i created this one there are of course the other ones too and then <clears throat> compile i can't compile because i have to set up this transform at least two and here is a trick you can use there are, there are a million tricks to get this transform there are locations uh, uh, target points and so on and so on. but in this case we have even a better one because this one is a blueprint you can just take this blueprint and say i want that the uh, blueprint spawner will be spawned later here for example right so at this point so what I want to do then is just go here and I make a self-reference. So we uh, no, we have right click here. So right click in the place here, write self. And then you will see this variable get a reference to self and self means to this, <clears throat> to this blueprint here self. And when you place this in the world, then you have also a transform. So which means from self, I drag out and write transform when i can write it right get actor transform here we have it <coughs> oops sorry <coughs> so we get actor transform and we connect this one and this one will all time get to the actor transform where i place it because it's a self-reference self means it will check this location and when i place it here it will be here when i place it here it will be here that's very handy very fast and nice so compile save actually this works already so we can test this and you see also this strange 
uh, static mesh here. It's just a cube like the other one, which I stretched here a little bit. And this one <laughs> is not real a turret, but I say you are my turret now. Of course, you can model a very nice turret instead, something like that. And I say you shot from here. So that's why I placed this blueprint actor here. He, this blueprint will now spawn a shot. And let's test it. I and it was too fast. We could not see it because it spawned, but it was too fast. So let's change a little bit our code one more. So let's say this here, we put it a little bit in front and say there is a delay. Delay is all time a little timer function, which is very handy, very little. Let's write delay. And there are many different kind of timers actually, but this one is really one of the easiest. And I say delay for two seconds. I compile two seconds means it will wait two seconds and then it will shot. Let's test this. Here I am. And it shot. Yes, that was good. And now I say, hey, uh, how I can make that this one is shotting perhaps not one time, more times. There are a million ways. I show you one of the easiest way again. This is perhaps not the best way. You just recombine it to this delay and this will now shot infinitely. Oops, not this one. Control Z, Control Z, and this one will now shot every two seconds one. Of course, you can add here many, many logic behind this code, but this little function, what we have right now here, will do a very nice job and simulates a turret or something like that. So let's compile, see what it is, and here. It shows, and you see it goes down, right? The, the the reason why it goes down is because it has gravity on, which means if you don't like gravity, then you have to go to your um to your projectile. The best way is here just to click this one, and it jumps in. Open this one up. Go to the details panel on the side here on the details panel on the side, and write gravity. And when you see nothing like me. Then the reason for that is you have to go to click first this projectile movement component. Now you see it because that is uh, controlling that. And if you write your zero gravity, which means there is no force which is pulling down, and then it should be shot directly. <clears throat> and there is one more thing which is very important when you do something like that. And there are also different ways. What is that? Of course, you are spawning here, um, spawning here actors, right? But you don't want that this actors stay, especially not projectiles. They should have a short lifetime. And there is a sh interesting uh, node, which is called, uh, which is uh, called lifespan. Set lifespan. It's also like a timer function actually, but. And then you can connect this one here and this one here. <clears throat> With that, you say every shot should live a uh, duration, let's say max two seconds. But of course, you have to adjust this value later. Depends on the game, how long, how far it flies, and so on. But in my case, for demonstration purposes, you understand this. And now you can see these shots which are created here. Let me show you this. Uh, print I press F8 and here we can see here on the right side in details panel this uh, they are created but actually they are destroyed at the same time and how you can see this that they are created and destroyed at the same time you, you can see that uh, that these actors are not increasing and that's so the hint you know they are not uh, they are destroyed definitely so that's that. Then I think that's enough for our test. It was just to test this projectile. And more important is that you go to this projectile and read all the options here, what you have. Uh, yeah. All the things what you have here to set them a little bit better. And um, yeah, in the documentation or in other tutorials, what is a good velocity? What is other things and so on. So with that said, I stop here, but in the next uh, video, I want to talk probably uh, about this uh, first person character. 
how they use that. So we have understand now the projectile, how I used it with this turret, that's okay, but they used it with a character and we need to know this one as well. Perhaps you want to add this projectile to an AI or to a character in your own game or something like that. And <clears throat> yeah, in the next video we are talking about this one, but very important we have before we can talk how this one is used uh, in this character, we have to talk about a little bit coding stuff. For example, this dispatcher, what is this dispatcher? And then how they attach this weapon. That's actually very easy, but this dispatcher is a little bit more not complicated, but you have to understand only how to use it. So let's, so with that said, I stop here. And if you have any questions or any complaints, just write in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye and good luck.